We all know Mario Kart. It's that happy little racing game you can play with your friends. Or alone if you're lonely, like me. But there's some things you might have not known about Mario Kart. So here, I introduce to you some useless facts about Mario Kart. Here we go. Did you know that Mario Kart was originally not about Mario? It was originally meant to be about some guy in some overalls, but the developers really liked the idea about Mar of Mario in the game, so they decided to put him in. There are a total of 15 different Mario Kart games, 9, nine mainline, and 5 spin-offs. In Japan, the Nintendo 64 track Mumu Farm is actually said Momo Farm. This is because Mo is actually how you say, is what the cows say in Japanese, I guess. I don't know. Did you know that in, in, in Mario Kart 64, if you let the music loop, if you let the music on the results screen loop for 64 times, you'll hear a different tune. Mario Kart 8 is the only game to not have an SNES track in its lightning cut. We all know SNES Rainbow Road for being remade 4 times, Super Circuit, 7, 8, and Tour. But did you know that Mario Circuit 3 has been remade the same amount of times, being in Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, and Mario Kart Tour. Neo Bowser City has 4 themes in its music, Mario Kart 7 Circuit theme, Mario Kart 7's title theme, N64's Toad's Turnpike, and Mario Kart Wii's circuit theme. Kamek was originally meant to be in Mario Kart 64. Egad was originally meant to be in Mario Kart DS. The only games that don't have a Wario themed track are, Mar are Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. The only games that don't have a Luigi track are Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 7, and Mario Kart 8. So Wario has more tracks than Luigi. But even though Wario has six different tracks, only two of those tracks have been remade. GCN Mario Circuit was originally meant to be in Mario Kart DS, but was scrapped due to there being too many circuit tracks in the game. In Mario Kart Double Dash, Daisy Cruiser can be seen from Yoshi Shirt, Circuit, and Peach Beach. PD Piranha, Hammer Bro, and Koopa Paratrooper were all meant to be in Mario Kart Wii, but were cut. Mario Circuit has been in each of the four slots of a, of a cup. All of Yoshi's sound effects in, in Mario Kart 64 were used were used in Super were used from Super Mario World's Yoshi. In Mario Kart Super Circuit, he was giving his, his he was finally given his normal sound effects. Every odd numbered Mario Kart game, not including Super Mario Kart, has been a handheld. Mario Kart 8 was the first game that had Mario and Luigi's mustaches animated. In the original Mario Kart, in the Japanese Mario Kart, in the award ceremony, Bowser and Beach can, can be seen drinking champagne. Don Donkey Kong Jr. is only playable in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Tour. He was going to be playable in Mario Kart Double Dash, but he was replaced by Diddy Kong. Mario Kart was Mario's first non-platformer game. Mario Kart 8 was originally going to have drills to drill through the earth. Speaking of Mario Kart 8, 
It wasn't the first game to have anti-gravity. Since in Mario Kart DS's Rainbow Road, you get to go through a loop-de-loop -loop and a corkscrew. There was originally going to be a Mario Kart for the Virtual Boy, but was scrapped due to the Virtual Boy sucking ass. Music Park is called Melody Motorway in Europe. Rock Rock Mountain is called Alpine Pass. Wario Shipyard is called Wario Galleon. Piranha Plant Slide is called Piranha Plant Pipeway. Maka Woohoo is called Woohoo Mountain Loop. Woohoo Loop is called Woohoo Island Loop. Neo Bowser City is called Koopa City. And Cheap Cheap Lagoon is called Cheap Cheap Cake. All of these tracks are in Mario Kart 7. Rob was the first ever non-Mario character to be playable in Mario Kart. Mario Kart 7 Star Cup is the only cup that has a different name depending on on where in the world you are in. You can you could potentially play Mario Kart Double Dash with up to 16 people. Toadette, Baby Daisy, Baby Rosalina, and Pink Old Peach have all made their debuts in Mario Kart. The thwomp laughing in N64's Bowser Castle is just Wario's laugh slowed down. Shy Guy made his debut in Mario Kart DS, but only when using DS download code. The L on Luigi's cap in Mario Kart Double Dash is backwards. There was a Mario Kart Wii battle course that was only for online. Lakitu apparently owns all the tracks. Out of all of the special items in Mario Kart Double Dash, the Babam is the only item to return in a mainline Mario Kart. Up until Mario Kart Wii, each game would have 8 racers. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, and Bowser are the only 6 characters to be in every single Mario Kart. Coconut Mall takes place on Isle Delfino. Speaking of Isle Delfino, there are four tracks that take place on Isle Delfino. Delfino Square, Coconut Mall, Peach Beach, and Delfino Square. All of these tracks, conveniently enough, are in Mario Kart Wii. Back to Coconut Mall, it and Mushroom Gorge have been in the last three Mario Karts. Waluigi Pinball is the only Mario series being tracked to have its own custom item box theme. There was originally meant to be a mission mode in Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart 7 is the only Mario Kart game that has an odd number in it. Mario Kart DS and Tour are the only games where Lakitu does not start the race. Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Super Circuit are the only are the only games whose logos have a bit of green on them. Speaking of Mario Kart Super Circuit, it had the most tracks in the NA game with 40 tracks. This was until Mario Kart 8 Deluxe gave us 48 tracks. The developers decided to call it Mario Kart 8 because there was one track that looked like a Mobius strip. I'm not making that up. Mario Kart 64's original title was going to be Super Mario Kart R. Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road was so bad for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they used a different Rainbow Road. Mario Kart 7 is the only game where you have to unlock Wario. Mario Kart Wii's Maple Treeway and Mario Kart Wii's Bowser Castle have the same melody. Just take a look at it. Just take a listen. And finally, N64's Wario Stadium is the oldest Mario Kart track to not be remade. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, why did I do it? I don't know. I was pretty bored, and I decided to share some facts that I knew. And well, most of them are facts that I already know. Some of them I had to research so that the video isn't like two seconds long. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for uh, items. It's probably gonna come out tomorrow uh, for Mario Kart 9. And well, yeah, bye guys.